so the project name is renom and micro ministries to microsoft patch and for wireless applications so wireless in the sense your normal bluetooth or wi-fi kind of applications so aim of the project to design a small size to microsoft patch and enough for wireless communication applications so the objective is to design a smaller size generally you know the frequency and the address size are inversely proportional so uh, the aim is to design a compact a smaller size of microsoft panel so that it can be embedded in any wireless devices introduction so antenna is the integral part of any wireless communication and it also required to be low profile with high efficiency and improved parameters and uh, low profile and low profile means this total size of the antenna is small uh, regularly used in various commercial and public applications such as radio mobile wireless communication where in size of antenna is a matter of concern so if you took a mobile phone or if you took any other uh, wireless devices which is commercially in use will be having this kind of uh, uh, miniaturized uh, antennas when basically which are micro strip also and micro strip antenna is unvaryingly used in most of the areas and uh, which can be also used in MMA kind of design. So DGS technique is used to achieve size reduction. So in this particular uh, antenna design, DGS means defective ground structure. Uh, this technique is achieved to uh, produce very small size antennas. So these are the different literature surveys uh, from 2020 uh, recent purpose. Uh, in each purpose, uh, uh, the, the others uh, proposed the different kinds of uh, micro strip antenna and different material like FR4 substrate, uh, Roger material and designed for basic applications like IoT kind of polar wireless communication kind of applications. So the frequency is mentioned like 5.8 gigahertz and few people will uh, design antenna for 3 gigahertz and uh, the last fourth paper they have used a defective patch structure and like just like that uh, few purposes are recommended so uh, we have different kinds of paper available in the last two three years regarding the micro strip antenna we have many kinds of antennas are there and so this is the proposed structure that i designed uh, which is very small in size and the first diagram is the front view of the antenna the blue color is the substrate which is basically fr4 and uh, that uh, uh, the, this shape of the patch is given here. So basically I start with a rectangle then I have removed the both uh, corners of the rectangle I make it as an oval kind of shape and I inserted a slot cut in the center of uh, the patch. So this is the shape and uh, the right side image is the blue color is the substrate which is actually the back view where the ground is uh, 1 by 3rd, uh, 1 by 3rd, 3 by 4th of the ground is removed and we have only one day fourth of the ground is based. So um, all the dimensions are given here. A ELS that is length of the substrate, WS width of the substrate, then WP in a sense width of the patch, then WF means width of the feed where we are inserting the signal. So all the dimensions are given. The corresponding values are uh, shown here. Now once we do the simulation um, uh, as a result uh, the resonation frequency is around 5.09, which is almost 5 gigahertz. And 5 gigahertz is a um, free spectrum, and which is used for most of the wireless communication, especially uh, Wi-Fi applications. We prefer 5 gigahertz, which is having faster data rate. And here you are getting for nearly 5 gigahertz resonation profile, uh, the resonation frequency. And along with, uh, we have a return loss of uh, around minus 27.56, which is very good. That is uh, your y axis. And talking about your voltage standing ratio, the default value will be less than or equal to 1. And uh, you can see that uh, for the corresponding resonation frequency 5.09, we are getting uh, the VSLR value of 1.08, which is almost equal to 1. And it's satisfying the condition, uh, ideal condition, and says that the antenna is a very good antenna. And after that, we do gain, find out the gain uh, for this particular design, the miniature race and micro strip antenna. So, the gain at the frequency f is equal to 5.09 gigahertz, 
we are getting around 0.8622 which is positive value but it is still a smaller value uh, since we have removed most of the ground so it is not able to reflect the signal back to the forward direction because of that because of the defective ground structure the gain is less uh, but we never sacrifice on uh, the frequency and and talking about the directivity so the directivity for this particular designed antenna at a frequency f is equal to 5.09 gigahertz is around 3.186 dbi uh, which is very good and and talking about the radiation pattern so radiation pattern is how the beam is focused uh, so the radiation pattern basically we have e plane radiation pattern that is electric and h plane radiation pattern that is magnetic field so e plane radiation pattern uh, will be calculated keeping phi value as 90 and h plane radiation pattern will be calculated as okay, keeping phi is equal to 0 so here you can see the radiation field pattern is in donut shape uh, for e plane and the main lobe is aligned to uh, 155 degree and in case of magnetic field radiation pattern the main lobe is aligned to 180 degree so these are the both radiation patterns of uh, h plane and e plane at the frequency f is equal to 5.09 gigahertz and conclusion so we have designed a novel micro strip patch antenna uh, in cst studio software and, and and the dimension of the antenna is 12 cross 13 that is 12 mm cross 13 mm dimension which is very compact in size and the designed antenna is able to resonate at 5 gigahertz and it can able to produce a gain and a directivity of around 0 0.86 dba gain and 3.14 dba um, uh, directivity and the antenna is giving a very good bswr value as well so the performance of the antenna is obtained by introducing partial i mean defective ground or partial ground and also we inserted a slot in the patch because of the introduction of this partial ground we are able to provide um, we are not able to provide actually a better gain uh, but still we can able to manage the resonation frequency in the lower band so that's all uh, if you want the other simulation to sell, so uh, this is uh, the antenna what I designed. Uh, this is the front view and this is the back view. So once we simulate the antenna, we can see the result in the S parameter. So uh, in S parameter, you can see that the resonation frequency is exactly at. 5.09 and the corresponding return loss value is around minus 27.56 in that range okay and if you wanted to see uh, the radiation pattern at a is equal to 5.03 this is the 3d pattern and if you want to see uh, the polar diagram this is the polar diagram um, i mean the radiation pattern and the value that is the directivity and the gain value Will be shown here okay you can see that the reactivity value is 3.16 and if you wanted to see the gain you can choose it here gain is equal to it is 0.862 dpi and if you want to see the VSWR, which is over here, so you can see that for exact 5.9, the VSWR is only 1.08. So these are the different uh, parameters that we analyze the using the antenna design. And your miniaturized antenna is uh, ready for the use. Thank you.